in the Turbine Hall of Tate Modern and we're standing in a recreation of Robert Morris's Body, Space and Stations Things, which was an exhibition that took place at what was Tate Britain, Tate Gallery in 1971. Robert Morris has always been very open to, or very unprecious about the way that his work is made and preserved. He would always rather remake a sculpture than transport it. I think, well, part of our interest really was in the experiment of staging it again now in a space in which people are so used to participating. It's a space where people feel uninhibited and feel kind of conceptually open to maybe engaging something like this. hardest one to be honest you really have to be quite strong and the idea is that it's a semi climbing wall and you you squeeze yourself between the separate blocks and then push yourself up well, the idea of the piece behind me is that the roof and the slope they almost sandwich you between them so you're supposed to push yourself up and it gradually sandwiches you as you get to the top of the roof Robert Morris in his work has always been very interested in how you might experience things via your body, not just via sight. And this piece was the, the kind of furthest that he pushed that idea. I think many artists, very many artists are influenced by this work. There are certain artists like Goshka McHugo um, or a group called Continuous Project Altered Daily in New York who made work that's a kind of direct homage to Robert Morris. But many, many more who are working across sculpture and performance have a debt to his practice. It was such an important event in Tate's own history that that's part of the reason we wanted to bring it back to life because the extent to which the institution has evolved in the past 38 years is enormous. But I think this was the kind of one of the radical groundbreaking things that precipitated the change. Thank you.